Rumors circulate that Five Finger Death Punch guitarist Jason Hook has left the band. We've got an update for you on that situation. Plus, Skillet frontman John Cooper lives in Kenosha, Wisconsin, around the corner, walking distance from where multiple businesses were burned after the shooting of Jacob Blake. He has a lot to say about that, and you're not going to want to miss any of this. We've got a lot to get to today. Stick with us. Good evening and welcome to Rock Feed. Thanks so much for joining us tonight and every night. You can support us by dropping a thumbs up on this video and subscribing with notifications on. It's the best way to support. It's free. It tells YouTube you like us and they'll show our videos to more rock fans. We can build a nice little community here. All right, folks. So before we get to this Five Finger Death Punch story, we're going to talk about multi-platinum band, Skillet, um, Corey Cooper and John Cooper, her husband. Uh, they both live in in Kenosha, Wisconsin, where there have been, there's been about a week of unrest since the shooting of uh, Jacob Blake. There have been riots, there have been multiple businesses that have been burned, and uh, the situation uh, got pretty serious there for a while, although things have calmed down in recent days. So John Cooper uh, lives walking distance away from that downtown area where there were businesses that had been burned, and uh, he describes a situation that is very different from being what was depicted in the media. Now, obviously, this is a sensitive issue to talk about. Uh, John Cooper does point out that he was disturbed by the video of what happened with Jacob Blake, but at the same time, he was also frustrated with businesses that were being burned. There was one uh, sign that he shared that show, showed kids upstairs, uh, and basically, they were trying to deter people from harming that building or setting it on fire because there were uh, apparently children inside of it. So he is saying also that no media outlets are talking about the cleanup efforts that uh, he and his family have been involved in and people from all walks of life out in Kenosha. Uh, first, I'm going to show you that video that he filmed and he uploaded from inside of his home uh, at about 2 a.m. or overnight, and he said that he was concerned uh, based on the businesses that had been burned. Uh, he says that there were people in his area that had their tires slashed, things like that, in addition to the damage. But uh, I, again, I want to point out after this video, he also shows a lot of the positive of the community, everyone from all walks of life coming together to clean up this community. Here is that video uh, of John Cooper from his podcast, which you can see on Facebook called Cooper Stuff. Um, and so, yeah, here's that clip. Outside my house. So after that video, he shares some things he says he's frustrated about with the media. And again, you can check this out on his Facebook page. It's called Cooper Stuff Podcast. It's about a 45 minute uh, long discussion. So here's that. Started spinning this early on was that there were just protests and they were fine. They're mostly peaceful as always, mostly peaceful protests, but then the militia came in and, and things got really bad. Uh, there was like a civilian militia. That's that is not accurate all right <laughs> night number one of the protests yes there were peaceful protests earlier in the day and then after the police called for people to disperse and they didn't you know breaking the the, the curfew what happened at that point is the burnings as you saw the cars I mean, just full car lots uh, 30 40 cars set on fire i think the probably the weirdest thing that i saw which you may see in the intro was the church with the Black Lives Matter, you know, sign with the, the car lot, like just blazing fire right next to it. That to me, that's like pretty much the parody of, of the year to me, of the weirdness of the whole thing. All of those things um, were happening. The, the, the violence had already started. And then now to read media reports saying that it was peaceful until militia showed up, that is absolutely not accurate. Uh, 
And then here was video of John Cooper showing the community coming together to clean things up. So let me know what you guys think about that in the comments. And again, you can check out John Cooper's podcast over on his Facebook page. It's called Cooper Stuff, but we got to move on. We're going to talk about Five Finger Death Punch guitarist Jason Hook. There have been some rumors that he is out of the band, and I'm going to get to that a little bit. It's, it's a complicated situation. There are rumors, but I do have an update for you on that situation. So basically back in December, John Cooper, he left a tour early and it was reported that he had to have emergency gallbladder surgery. So no conspiracy there. It makes perfect sense. And so this is where the rumors start. You've had Five Finger Death Punch releasing content on their YouTube channel all throughout 2020. And Jason Hook hasn't been featured in that content despite all other members of Five Finger Death, Death Punch participating in it. And then you have their music video for A Little Bit Off. That's obviously a big hit single for them. It's a great tune if you haven't checked it out. And they filmed that music video in quarantine. It's a neat music video filmed in Las Vegas. Uh, as I understand it, most of or all the members of Five Finger live in Las Vegas. And despite Jason Hook living there as well, he is not included in that music video. Are you following a trend here? So then the other day you have Five Finger Death Punch reaching 1 million followers on their Instagram account and they chose this photograph, which does not include Jason Hook as the guitarist. It is featuring the stand-in guitarist who toured with the band back in December. Also very interesting. And then you have this, this is from the PRP. I've linked to their story in the description of this video and they have all the pieces put together very well. And uh, it says, so Hook is done. This is on Ivan Moody, their vocalist's Instagram. In the comments, you have uh, a person saying, so Hook is done. And he responds, love you, sis. And then this guy says, I'd say this uh, confirms it. And then this person tags Jason Hook and he says, I'd like to hear your stand up. I love stand-up comedy, be well. Now you add to that the fact that multiple members of Five Finger Death Punch are no longer following Jason Hook on Instagram. It makes quite, it paints quite the picture, quite frankly, that he is not in the group or things are not going well. So I reached out to sources connected to the band and of course I'm also trying to get an official response from the group. And one source connected to the band told me that Jason Hook is not out of the band at this time, um, and that is all I'm being told. I don't have any insight into what is actually going on, but he remains, as of now, a official member of Five Finger Death Punch. Uh, but again, I do not have any further insight into why these other things are happening because it certainly does look as if there is more to the situation than we understand. So I hope everyone in Five Finger Death Punch is well. I hope Jason Hook is well. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll keep a close eye on the situation and let you know if we hear anything else. And we're gonna leave it at that tonight. Thanks so much for joining us today at Rockfeed and every day, really appreciate it. Again, please subscribe and drop a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, it'll help the channel out. All right, thanks again for joining us and we'll see you all very soon.